We live in a world of misinformation, disinformation. People try to scam you left, right, front, and center. And you would be a fool to think to yourself that anything that's promised to you is a revolution, essentially and definitely, because all that glitters is not gold, my friends. But what if, actually, somewhere along the line, this strange AI technology, misinformation, disinformation, fake news, power, journey, fever dream of an entire experience right here, there was something that was actually legit. And here I bring to you that exact thing, a game changer. Three, two, one, and boom. What you saw there was Whisperflow, a dictation app, as you could see. It basically transcribed every single thing I was saying in paragraph what I was saying. And uh, yeah, like, it is actually amazing. Watch this video all the way to the end to learn about one of the most incredible AI softwares of our current generation. So I found Whisper on Product Hunt, and basically it was the number one product of the day. I was like thinking like, okay, it's a dictation app. I love using voice dictation because it is basically just so much faster compared to just typing on your keyboard right here. And it just happens to be available only for Apple Silicon. I'm sorry, Windows users. Also, for better or for worse, I am basically now a hashtag senior citizen and typing in any way, shape, or form is basically painful for me, so I have looked for alternatives. I mean, I use ChatGPT's voice recording feature basically all of the time right here, and that ends up essentially just making things a lot easier whenever I'm trying to text or do anything like that. And it makes it so I decided to give it a shot because two words, free trial, baby. Oh wait, is that three? Now, you might ask, how exactly is this different from ChatGPT? Because as you can see, ChatGPT is very simple. Just go ahead, tap a button, and start speaking. Boom, then you're done. Go ahead, copy and paste it. Well, the difference between ChatGPT and Flow Voice is that unlike ChatGPT, where you have to transcribe what you want in the app and then copy it and then paste it, you can do the transcription in the text field where you want to make the submission. You can basically do this anywhere anytime, in any text box you want. Like, I could do it right here in this browser platform, www.google.com. And boom, we're at Google. <laughs> Isn't that super cool? Check it out. Getting access is actually super simple. All you have to do is go to the link in the description. You could also use flowvoice.ai, but if you do use this link, then it is going to earn me a small commission, which will help support my work. So thank you in advance for using that. Once you get a file, just double click and do your standard issue, drag and drop, and basically you'll have it installed. You can use Flow Basic for free, but you're going to be limited to 2,000 words per week. And if you do want to use Flow Pro, which is going to give you everything in Flow Basic, unlimited words per week, and command mode, I'll talk about that later, by the way. It's pretty interesting. Learns your writing style and a whole bunch of things like prioritize feature requests. Ooh, all those things right there. Then, you have to go for Flow Pro, and that's going to cost you $12 US per month. As for Enterprise, you can get that for $30 per month, and I won't really be covering all the features in Enterprise, but most of what you're going to see is going to be relevant to you, and you can adapt that to an Enterprise context as well. What you do, basically, is that you just download everything from the site right here. After you've installed the software, then you basically go right ahead into the interface, go from Home to Settings, and then click Customize, and then choose the hotkey that you want to tap right there, and then they start with function as the main hotkey, but you can actually modify it to whatever it is that you want right here. That is basically going to be what you press whenever you want to activate flow. Activating it is really simple. All you have to do is basically just this. All right, so check this out right here. I'm going to go right here and press the Alt key right away. Testing, testing, one, two, three. This is me testing out the flowvoice.ai software right here. I'm just casually tapping the hotkey, and that is basically going to transcribe every single thing that I sit into the software. And there you go. All right, so there's actually one additional mode, which is what we call hands-free mode, which you can go right here and tap the hotkey and then tap space at the same time. And then you can basically just go right here and continue transcribing without actually pressing down the button at all. So yeah, then when you're done, this is what happens. You can also do that by hitting your chosen hotkey twice. 
Or, and you might have noticed this a while ago, you can actually use what's called the flow bar. And that is going to basically start your dictation process right here and essentially have it be completely and entirely hands-free. Yeah, like go right hit and have that dictator into whatever document it is that you kind of prefer right there. Straight away and we stop. Now you might notice actually that the wording there is a little bit different because actually what's happening under the hood is that it is in fact changing a little bit of what you're saying and it is modifying it so that if you were to say um, ah, uh, or something of that nature, so then the software can actually get rid of that as well. There's also lots of other interesting and cool things under the hood like You do have to enable whispering though, and that is definitely in beta, so that's something to think about. Another thing is that you can actually choose the language that you want to output in, and you probably want to change that from auto detect into the language you actually want to output in. It's actually kind of cool sometimes, I mean like, if you want to speak in like another language, like for example, Nada saya Victor, saya seorang orang Malaysia dan saya dilahirkan pada dua ribu enam. Yeah, so It'll translate your voice into Malay and stuff like that, which is cool and everything, but sometimes if you speak in English, then it will translate it into Malay or otherwise. It can get wonky, so I do recommend that if you want to actually keep your mental sanity and to ensure that your output is going to be in the language that you want, choose that language. Alright, next feature. There's what we call command mode, which basically allows you to do stuff like flow translate this into English, and there you go. <laughs> yeah, so you can basically do a whole bunch of things like this right here. Like for example, flow, extend this and tell the audience about my hobby of rearing pet parakeets and also contacting famous politicians and businessmen. Boom, there you go. Those aren't actually my hobbies by the way, but yeah, you can see what this is really able to do. It's basically like having ChatGPT in your computer at any given time, and you can basically do a whole bunch of different things like that right there. Like for example, Flow, extend this to a three paragraph essay where you're talking about my hobbies of keeping pet parakeets, add a little bit of context to that and tell the audience that I was born in Nicaragua and also move over to Honduras before eventually living in Malaysia where I now hang out and also for a living shoot videos of soda cans. And there you go. <laughs> the last cool thing that you can do with this, at least for now until they release their mobile app, is this. Ask Perplexity, what is Perplexity the company? And what you'll see is that a browser window will open and it will open up perplexity.ai and make a search for you. And boom, there you go. Here you have an integration basically between Flow and Perplexity, which is basically this AI company that powers this AI powered research and conversational search engines. You can basically do this on any browser window. I don't think you can do it straight away on things that aren't directly linked to the internet, like for example, Final Cut Pro, but yeah, you can do this basically on any browser window and it will open up a tab and you will see research casually formatted out and it's amazing. So yeah, you've got a whole bunch of pretty interesting things that combine together with one another to create this incredible new experience of interacting with your computer that I honestly would never have known about if not for finding this randomly on Product Hub today. Of all the different types of AI software that I've ever seen on the market, this by far is the game changer out there. Right next to Granddaddy ChatGPT, congratulations Tane, Sahaj, and the entire Flow AI team. You guys have created something incredible and I look forward to using it much more in my daily life as well. It's so rare to see something so incredible and well executed out there. Thanks again for releasing this into the world. Use my referral link, get subscribed, and use my referral link. Alright, cheers, see you, and bye.